नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड मिस्टर तिवारी हु वॉज वर्किंग एज अ कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स रिटायर ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन फॉलोइंग आर द पर्टिकुलर्स ऑफ हिज इनकम रिलेटिंग टू द इयर एंडिंग ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सैलरी रिसीव रुपीज नाइन थाउजेंड पर मंथ एंटरटेनमेंट अलाउंस रिसीव रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड पर मंथ We spend on entertainment rupees three fifty per month during the month of January two thousand twenty. He received gratuity amounting to rupees ninety five thousand. He received seventy thousand the value of commuted pension on fifteen January two thousand twenty. He receives uncommuted pension from government with effect from first January two thousand twenty. He becomes Which becomes due on every last day of the month at the rate of rupees three thousand two hundred per month. He received arrears of salary rupees nine thousand four hundred on twenty ninth March two thousand twenty. He incurred the expenses incidental to employment such as purchase of books, car expenses. etc amount to rupees 15280 you are required to compute his taxable income for the assessment year 2020-21 now friends this is a particular problem in this particular problem they are provided information about the mr tiwari and he is a commissioner of income tax it means he is a government employee now we have to find out his taxable income so we have to find out the taxable income first of all he retire he retire on Thirty-first December two thousand nineteen. Our previous year is first April two thousand nineteen, and end is thirty-first March two thousand twenty. But he retired on thirty-first December two thousand nineteen. It means, friends, from first April to thirty-first December, he receives salary, and after thirty-first December he retired, he may be received pension or. Gratuity. So from April two thousand nineteen to thirty first December two thousand nineteen, this particular period we have to calculate the salary. So how many months are there? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It means nine months. So here, basic salary they are provided nine thousand per month. So we have to multiply nine. We have to multiply by nine, and we have to calculate the basic salary because on thirty-first December he retired. So here we have multiply this entertainment allowances nine thousand into nine April to December salary amount eighty-one thousand. After that, they are provided he received entertainment allowance of this five hundred per month. Again, we have to do same things. Entry allowances always taxable. It is five hundred into nine. It is four thousand five hundred. It is four thousand five hundred. He has spent on entertainment rupees three fifty. We have to ignore. We have to ignore the rupees three fifty. Then after that, during the month of January, he received the gratuity. One thing you have to keep in mind, whenever the M. government employee received gratuity it is totally exempt it is totally non taxable under section 10 sub section 10 the gratuity is totally exempt totally non taxable so gratuity value we have to write 95000 inner column exempt 95000 outer column why it is non exempt 
because he is a government employee and government employee is gratuity always exempt 100 percent exempt after recording the gratuity the next is he received 70,000 the value of commuted pension now friends there there are two types of pensions commuted pension and uncommuted pension in our income tax act there are two types of pensions commuted pension uncommuted pension commuted pension means lump sum pension sometime after retirement employee received lump sum amount it is considered as a commuted pension. Now, 70,000 received this amount received by the government employee. The government employee received commuted pension. It is totally exempt under section 10, subsection 10A. 70,000 minus 70,000, 100% exempt, outer column, zero non taxable Committed pension received by non a government employee is totally exempt from tax under section 10, subsection 10A. Then, friends, Mr. Tiwari received uncommuted pension. Now, friends, uncommuted pension is what? It is monthly pension, it is a periodical pension. Periodical pension always taxable whether it is received by government or non-government employee it is taxable to all employees here uncommuted pension received from 1st january now friends he has retired on 31st december he has retired on 31st december it means in our previous year he can receive the per month or uncommuted pension from january to March from January to March because our year end will be 31st March it means he can receive the salary from January to March how many months he can receive the uncommitted pension three months he can receive the uncommitted pension three months and three months 3200 per month uncommitted pension we have to multiply by three and it is always taxable it is always taxable. The uncommitted pension January to March, it is always taxable. It is 9,600. It is 9,600. I hope you understood. The uncommitted pension received, periodical pension received by the government employee or non-government employee, always taxable. Then friends, then they are provided information about the areas of salary. Areas of salary, 9,400. Areas of salary always taxable. Whether it is government employee or non-government employee, it is always taxable. So we have to put here, areas of salary, 9,400. Now friends, we have to find out the gross salary. We have to find out the gross salary. Now gross salary, we got here, this total of the outer column one lakh four thousand five hundred. Total of the outer column one lakh four thousand five hundred. Then after that, friends, we have to do the deductions under section sixteen. First deduction, standard deduction under section sixteen, subsection one. Now, friends, these things you have to keep in mind. Entered uh, standard deduction, we have to do up to rupees fifty thousand. Whenever the employees employees paid certain amount for the purpose of employment such amount we have to give the deduction in our problem such kind of information is available now see that g number information tiwari he means tiwari tiwari incurred the expenses incidental to employment he has incurred the expenses related to the employment incidental means related or connected to the employment what kind of expenses he has incurred purchase of books car expenses it is related to the employment how much amount 15,280 so we 15,280 or 50,000 whichever is less 15,280 or 50,000 whichever is less so 
we have we got here which are is less between thousand to eighty. Yes, I hope you understood how we will find out this. Then after that, friends, second deduction we have to give entertainment allowance under section sixteen subsection two. Now, entertainment allowance is deduction applicable only government employee. In our problem, Mr. Tiwari retire from government sector. He is retired from government sectors. Why we call it the government sector? Because he is working as a commissioner of the income tax. It means he is a government employee and he retired from government. So, entertainment allowance deduction is applicable. How much? Five thousand or twenty percent or one fifth of the basic salary. Basic salary is eighty-one thousand. Is one fifth we have to calculate. It is sixteen thousand two hundred. An actual amount received four thousand five hundred. Whichever is less, that is five thousand sixteen thousand two hundred or four thousand five hundred. That is four thousand five hundred. Clear. Then third deduction. Now in our problem they have not provided the value of of a professional tax. Even they are not provided, we have to put the value of profession tax that is two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. The total of inner column deduction. It is nineteen thousand seven eighty. Now one lakh four thousand five hundred is a gross salary. From this, we have to deduct nineteen thousand seven eighty. The rest of the value will be one lakh four thousand five hundred minus nineteen thousand seven eighty is equal to eighty four thousand seven twenty is a net taxable income from salaries. Net taxable income from salaries. So I hope you understood. Whenever the government employee is there, how we will calculate? You should know about this from the rules if you know about the rules you can easily understand the how, how we will solve this type of sum yes do you have any doubt yes is there any doubt how we will calculate how we will use these rules is there any doubt you can ask sir yes प्रोफेशनल टैक्स दिला नोता ना सम मरे तो तो अपन लीला ना 2500 यस तो डिडक्ट कराए था कि नहीं कराए था कराए था वन थिंग यू डू कीप इन माइंड टोटल मत 2000 22000 280 है तेरे मो इस टोटल हाँ और इस एंड अलवेज वी हैव टू कंसीडर इंटर अलाउंसेस 2500 22,280 यस यू आर राइट हाँ देन आफ्टर दैट वन वन लैक फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस 22,280 then rest of the value eighty two thousand two twenty. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind: whenever the profession tax they are provided or not, you have to give two thousand five hundred. Every problem, every problem, if it is there or not, you have to give profession tax deduction two thousand five hundred. Is is there any doubt? Any other doubt? Is इस अजून कोण लगा डाउट आहे तो मैं विचारू शकता। ओके फाइन तो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू शाल आई गिव वन होमवर्क टू यू। यस सर। एक छोटा सा होमवर्क दे उका तुम्हाला। यस सर। हाँ पर इसे टाइम दे। Yes, this particular sum is there. It is a homework. Miss Ashin is employed with the Ambrose Sales and Service. 
as a sales representative, she furnishes you the following information for the assessment year 2021. Salary at the rate of is 25,000 per month, commission on sales with is 47,000, bonus equal to one month salary was declared, individual allowances at the rate of is 1250 per month, house rent allowance with is 5,000, exempt of is 3,000, purposes value of convenience provided by the employer for her personal use was ascertain rupees 12,000 you are required to uh, ascertain the taxable income from salary now miss ashin she is a non government employee because she is working in amway sales and services as a sales representative it means she is a non government employee then she received salary 25000 per month the basic salary we have to write 25000 into 12 then she is a sales representative she can receive commission also the commission also taxable then one month bonus equal to one month salary was declared by company bonus declare is not taxable it will not come under the head salary it will not be taxable then she received entry allowances 1250 per month. So 1250 into 12. That we have to give. House rent allowances 5000. Deduction of exemption we have to give 3000. Rest of the value taxable. Then she uh, received perquisites value of conveyance 12000. It is also taxable. So whatever amount is taxable, you have to find out the gross salary. Then deduction, uh, standard deduction 50000 is there. But uh, here you have to assume now, right now you don't assume if they are not provided, put the nil. Then into allowances deduction is not applicable because she is a non-government employee. And only one deduction we have to give that is a professional tax that is 2005. I hope you understood the overall this particular problem, how we will solve. Now uh, you can uh, uh, I will put this little no lecture on YouTube. <coughs> uh, put the problems, take uh, write down the problems, and solve this all entire problem on your notebook. Use the YouTube and uh, write the all questions and the solutions. It is good for your study purpose. Next lectures we will study the further certain rules and we have to solve some problems. So this is enough for today's wow today we have solved how many problems we have solved five so five problems are enough for our study purpose we will study some extra problems in our next lectures okay do you have any doubt yes is there any doubt no sir yes uh, mr hadke in the Zalaragam? Mr. V. Patil? Yes, sir. Zalana clear, sir? Oh, okay. oh sir. Okay. Baki Tumcha Sara Bhavandana Sangha, Lover and Lover, lecture like it's a college, Made Kai problems of Tumi directly college Made Dom Sudha, Sol Kurushakta, college Made office, over Lillas. It is, it may be around 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. To be college made down, college made office made kahi kaam karai yourself. They purusha. Ka az malaika to tum jab hai ni nee prashn vicharla. Ka kutla pustak wa price. Account sati ani tax sati. Generally me kutla pustak wa prat nee. Ano wa prala sangat. Ab tum mala wa tar sale to tum hi self publication se pustak vikat give shakta. Tar it is even the self publication se. You are Manan Public. Any book you can refer. I have an advanced financial accounting book also. But you can refer any book. Set. But set ka Manan Pai. But you can set the set publication. So, if you have a study, self study, you can set the current Pustaka. You can set the current Pustaka. You can set the current We will study. Whatever my notes are there, that this is we will study. 
is there any doubt then you can ask okay this is enough good night